Watson, my dear fellow, we can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which pleases me. Have you really solved the theft, Holmes, and so quickly? I have indeed, Watson, and believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but once again the outcome has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Ah, you see, but you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is fast as a few... A fire... In order to... This window was cut with a diamond, a clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. A mark, undoubtedly, made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but he was interrupted. I need something. I need something. Let us examine the crumpled score. These sooty prints were left by a tiny hand. I don't understand why these music scores are Not very well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. A candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. Heading towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. The fire started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Footprints. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. The chest wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. <laughs> 